Hey you guys, Lissandra here, and today's Sunday, and to those of you on my Facebook, I know uh, I said that I would make a video in regard to the two people I fired, so anyway, let's get started, so <sighs> yesterday I had a little altercation with two of the people I was working with. And uh, uh, as some of y'all know, uh, one one of them is DJ Sound, and the other the other one's a uh, uh, J Craft. Okay, so pretty much there was an altercation, and and it got to the point where pretty much I had to fire them. Okay, and the reason why is not uh, is not because of like any. Um, <sighs> any like impulsive decisions or anything like that or um anything like that that I usually have with my own friends and all okay these are just two people that pretty much I met on mm, server called minecraft cc uh, of course for those of y'all who watch my gaming channel um I was pretty much like uh Ban, uh, permanently banned from from that server, and, and and I did get along with some of the people, others I don't. But out of all the people that pretty much uh, I still get along with is um, is is um, it's pretty much one of my. Uh, one uh, one of the people that uh, has to do uh, in, in reference to my career, my engineering mentor, okay. But the thing is that um, get, getting back to the point, uh, I I had to fire these two because uh, in reality they have pretty much turned the the same way as some of the people from CC. And, and the thing is, the, the thing is this. Um, l let me start off uh, by this. So we we had uh, started um, a as normal talking and everything, and uh, talking just pretty much messing around and all, uh, messing around. I was working on my uh, server like usual. And um, Jcraft and um, Jcraft and DJ Sound had uh, pretty much uh, they were just pretty much talking and everything. I don't remember what they were talking about or so, uh, what it was or anything like that. But the thing is, uh, the thing is, it, it, everything started fine and everything up until the point where he started like including the the whole topic of race that's not nationality ethnicity things like that and the thing the thing about um, the thing about DJ sound is that a lot of a lot of the times I don't know why but he usually tends to have some sort of like obsessive uh, tendency to talk about uh, race, ethnicity, gender thing. well not exactly gender but uh, gender even though he has mentioned uh, things like that seldomly but uh, race, uh, race, ethnicity things like that you usually, will, usually the type of stuff you expect from an SJW social justice warrior and the thing is that um, I told him plenty of times that I'm not interested in talking about those topics. I don't want to talk about the and, and things like that. I don't want to uh, talk about stuff like that. And the reason why is that in reality I don't like putting up with uh, with um, with things that um, I don't like putting up with. Uh, Things that those conversations usually bring, because the thing is, they they usually bring really heated arguments. And the thing is that there um, there uh, what do you call it? 
there are things that I don't I, I, I don't I, I don't really like about those things I'm not gonna uh, uh, go into it or, or say anything like that but the thing is that um, the chase I knew the ch uh, DJ sound I knew is pretty much um, how do you say he he pretty much was different he pretty much was different from the point I met him but like I don't I don't know why but uh, this for some reason he uh, he tends to like come come online disappear come online disappear but this last time he just kind of disappeared and came back uh, like kind of something happened and all I'm not really sure and uh, I, I kind of sense he just let out his frustration on other people and all but the thing is that um, in, in a way he has all this sort of like kind of arrogance and everything he has this sort of arrogance that uh, then I don't know uh, what the deal is like for example if, if you're talking with him and everything and he um, pretty much uh, he, he would say stuff like along the lines of like oh he discovered this or I have an idea the, the idea is fine I don't mind that or uh, he's found a flaw in some established law or some established uh, theorem or, or something like that and, or or he beats somebody that pretty no, much knows more than him or somebody older than him and the thing is that um, it, it goes on like that to the point where it's just like um, to a point where um, it, it, it just gets irritating it just gets irritating to deal with he, and the thing is the the day before he pretty much told me a, a story of why that why that is and everything and, and in reality I just um, thought I'd just give him respect and all because uh, like I have said before every uh, and it's just like my dad has told me before everyone has their story everyone has a story behind them why they are the way they are okay but the thing is that uh, he uh, he just doesn't I guess he doesn't get a clue or anything he doesn't know how to uh, pretty much uh, measure himself to how to behave how to act or anything like that the dude to grammar Nazi and all the dude to, uh, has this tendency of like pretty much correcting like um, tendency to uh, the correcting words here and there and the thing is that uh, even though he says he's not politically correct he is in the sense of like words things like that and and, uh, and the thing is that people like that I don't tolerate I don't I have told him all, all multiple times well the thing is that um, because of his arrogance he he starts like thinking he can uh, pretty much like take me on in an argument and the thing is that's not the case uh, that's not the case why because uh, like I told him I seen a lot more I lived a lot more I'm more educated than he is and the thing is uh, um, the deal is this other guy that I, he's with Jcraft um, that's on the call and everything starts like pretty much defending him and, and saying that it, it does not uh, it, it does not matter how uh, how long you lived or how much you know or seen or anything which is pretty much like complete bullshit because uh, here's the thing I, even though I have said uh, many times that it, it does not matter uh, how old you are or anything and, and in some cases if, if what the younger se person says is right it's right okay that's a, um, that's a, that's in one scenario however here's 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 where things uh, kind of change when you know uh, when what 
when what you uh, are saying is contingent to what you know, then in that case, uh, then in that case, the older person takes it. Why? Because in this case, the older person knows. Okay, and uh, and the thing that uh, um, pisses me off about like pretty much J craft is because this is just like your typical English pompous uh, pompous jerk and everything. And, um, and and the reason I say this is that it's not so much like uh, saying it's a uh, saying it as a form of ad hominem and all that because remember what I said in the other video that I don't tend to use uh, like uh, ad hominems or anything but in this case it's just pretty much to prove a point not so much to attack the person but rather to attack the way uh, describe um, be descriptive about it describe how this person is and the thing is uh, the thing is this he usually tends to be like that it's like my father uh, tells me sometimes uh, usually people like that tend to be like uh, uh, cold and heartless when saying those things I used to like the guy uh, at first because he uh, to say nonetheless, it, he he has a really high intellect. Even more, and um, regardless if Chase likes this or not, uh, even higher than uh, Chase's intellect and all. To be honest, I respect him more than Chase and all, because the thing about Chase is that he's very impulsive. He he doesn't measure things, and and uh, seemingly based on what I've seen. He measures, he tends to measure right and wrong uh, um, based on how he feels and all. And that's something that you cannot rely on. As a matter of fact, uh, it, and my perception of him is just pretty much that he has a dogmatic stance of right and wrong and everything. And, uh, and plenty of people do. Plenty of people have that the stance in in regard to ethics, morality, things like that. Um, but anyway, it, it it got to the point where it just started like things started heating up and all, and and then he he started like pretty much calling me an hypocrite. Uh, and uh, here here's the funny thing. Uh, you called me an hypocrite because I didn't uh, uh I said one thing and meant another, and all. Okay, he, he, he was saying that about me, but um, but here's the thing, he's the hypocrite. Why? Because the guy lies. One time, uh, uh, one time earlier, some some time back, uh, I sent uh, I sent a, a a message to a friend of mine who's online that works with me on the project, and I told him to uh, message Chase. And, and, and the thing is, I, I don't message the, uh, I don't message the dude directly or anything. Because I told him many times I'm not going to add him on my Facebook. Rather, uh, I had a group with, uh, which he, uh, he would join. So, the thing is, uh, my friend goes on and uh, messages him. And the thing is that, uh, the thing is that, uh, my friend pretty much told me he never replied back. The, and and there's, there's other stuff that I have like uh, caught up on lies and everything. He's just he, uh, he's just a compulsive liar. Just like uh, a couple of people that I know, they're compulsive liars and all. And, and, and why? Because when, when he got back and everything, he, actually a previous time he got uh, I don't remember when, when was it, but the thing is that he said that uh, that he messaged him, but he he messaged my friend, but never replied back. I asked him and everything, and uh, he said no, that he never replied back. Uh, that I'm at, I'm referring to my friend. Uh, I messaged my friend, and it just pretty much said that he like pretty much ignored the message that he had seen the message, and and the thing is I pretty much have like uh, and I think I have like some of the screenshots uh, of what my friend sent me and all but the thing is uh, the thing is this 
for someone that who like pretty much calls you an hypocrite, it's like uh, it's like I mentioned to him on Sargon of Alcon, It's not so much the type of guy uh, that's saying it, but what uh, this uh, guy said. And the one thing that Zargon of Alcott said uh, is pretty much uh, that for um, for what people call you, that's usually what they are. So he's calling me an hypocrite, when in reality he's the hypocrite. Uh, and he, he tried to like, he tried to pretty much like dev uh, debunk some of the things I'm saying that no, uh, that everyone is an hypocrite. Okay. And the uh, and the thing is uh, this. That's a pragmatic assumption. That's a prag uh, um, that's a pragmatic assumption that everyone's a hypocrite, and it, it's based on the whole uh, deal that everyone's dishonest. But the thing is that different people come from different backgrounds, and there's there's act even though people may find it hard to believe is there's people that don't lie at all there's people that don't lie and i know there's plenty of people that uh that may say bullshit that that's not true that everyone lied no that's not the case because there um like for example in rural areas uh i wouldn't actually i wouldn't say rural area people from Third world countries, there's like, uh, there's like people that have like certain uh, moral and ethical backgrounds. Okay, uh, give it nonetheless. There, there are people that there, there still are people that um, that pretty much say white lies, things like that. But as far as being hypocrite, as far as lying, there's like pretty much older people that don't do that there's pretty much people like that and the thing is that the fact that uh, it's improbable does not mean impossible because uh, here's, uh, here's a little scenario in regard to probability if you uh, let's say you uh, you're supposed to throw a door to a really thin hole that in reality, it's exactly the the same diameter as the dart that you're trying to throw. Uh, but the thing is, it's really thin, and it, and you have to throw it from a distance. Many people will say that's impossible, and that really isn't the case. It's just very improbable you'll make it. That's 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 where things in probability come from: one in a million, one in a trillion, and so on. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much the description of like uh, uh, DJ Sound. As far as J Craft goes, he's just like, in, in some aspects, he's just like, uh, he just behaves like a pompous jerk at all. Um, tends to be cold, just like my, uh, just like my father describes and everything. And the thing is that why I took the decision to fire him. Pretty much, uh, I talked to uh, a really close friend of mine, someone I know for like almost a decade and a half, decade and a half. And the thing is that uh, uh, I really talked with her for quite a bit, and I came to the conclusion that uh, both of them are unreliable people because one of them is just like a uh, just somebody who's untrustworthy. Some uh, uh, someone who has like ish, uh, issues uh, in regard to their attitude. They're like um, very impulsive. I have a friend of mine who just pretty much called him uh, called him out as uh, like pretty much drug addict, garbage, trash. And the thing is that uh, I didn't agree with him. I actually defended him, but now that he's behaving like that, a lot of uh, something that just pretty much comes to mind I'm starting to think that he may maybe he might have been right as far as Jcraft goes he's just like uh, my friend Jason he was just pretty much right on the spot in in regard to just firing him because the thing is this 
This is a guy that I have already blown off three times. Three times. Okay? And the thing is, he doesn't change. These are the type of people that don't change at all and never learn. Uh, and uh, oh and the thing is uh, another thing is this uh, that I wanted to uh, um, uh, get to in regard to like DJ Sound Chase the thing about this guy is that the, I told him that uh, not to debate me pretty much not to debate me uh, he wasn't going to win it all of course just, uh, that's just a um, that's just a little bit like um, how can I say Actually, I don't even have the word for it. But the thing is that he, uh, pretty much I told him that, uh, he started calling me things like childish and things like that. But the thing, uh, the thing I told him is that, uh, then the reason he wasn't going to win is because he had a lot of logical fallacies, things like that. And he started trying to, like, build up excuses that, that, uh, a lot of logical fallacies are based a lot of the things that he says were based on illogical stuff and, and the thing is this okay the the focus on the the focus of when you debate when you argue um, it may be fictional stuff you may be talking about illogical stuff art subjective concepts objective concepts whatever but the thing is uh, this uh, Overall, you're supposed to be uh, uh, logical in the way you represent things, and that was what I was referring to. It's not so much the subject itself, but rather how you pretty much present your argument, present your evidence, or so on. And that's what he does. Uh, this didn't understand. And the thing is, he he even one time tried to call me ignorant. Um, this was some time back. But in reality, he's the one who's ignorant. And uh, I even told him that a lot of the people who call others ignorance are actually ignorant themselves. And I've seen that a lot. I really have seen that a lot. And uh, he, um, and as far as J-Craft goes, he's just like, um, he's, he just behaves like an idiot. Because, uh, here, here you have, uh, here you have a person that just pretty much uh, lives in the country that uh, pretty much you you don't have to like deal with any of the like you don't have to deal with like issues like uh, mo mostly I would say that you you do deal with some economic issues based on what he described but you, the rest of the issues you. Uh, uh, deal with like apart from like those um, more serious issues there's just like mostly first world uh, problems and the thing is that it's hard for him to pretty much picture uh, problems that reside in like second or third world countries he does not understand what that's about and he never will why because the thing is he the, and here's the way I see them both. They're in a bubble. They're both in a bubble. They uh, and the thing is, they picture that what life is is just what uh, encompasses their bubble and everything. Even though they might say that they they've been out there or anything, no, they haven't. There is so much out there that they you you won't believe what there is out there. There's several things that are just uh, cynical that you, you, a lot of people can't even imagine. There, uh, sometimes those issues, those things that, those terrible things are just right under your nose and a lot of time you don't realize. And I, I came to realize that several years ago. I came to realize that. And that's some of the things that they will never understand. Why? Because they're just fixated in their own little world that they don't even uh, come to realize anything. They're just like, the way I see them, that's, uh, and, and I, I finally took the decision that I'm not going to waste any time with, with people like that. I don't, 
I don't have time to deal with people like that. I have my own issues to worry about. I'm not going to uh, just uh, pretty much stay there and argue with them or anything like that. It's just, uh, and the thing is, here's the thing. Uh, and I, I didn't come to realize this until up until I talked with my uh, uh, my close friend that in reality people like that are just like poison, just like I described Jcraft. Just uh, and and I and I even dare say uh, DJ Soundchase, they're just poison. I'm not gonna waste time with them. I'm not gonna just uh, uh, stay there because the the thing is this the, the guy. And here's what I wanted to do, to, to be honest. I kind of felt bad for the guy, and I also kind of like, I consider him a friend and all. And the thing is that, uh, what I wanted to do is just pretty much like, try to like, show him some of the stuff I, um, some of the stuff I know, some of the engineering, math, science, things like that. I wanted to just pretty much like, just like uh, my engineering mentor is to me, just try to like teach him stuff, just like uh, my uh, mentor pretty much teaches me things and all. And the thing is, uh, uh, I, I never expected him to just turn out into just a rotted apple. Actually, both of them. Um, as uh, as far as uh, Jcraft goes, um, even though we did argue a lot of the times, I did learn stuff from him. Uh, and um, because he 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 he, he did have a sharp mind and all, but. Um, but anyway, it, it's just like, uh, and the reason we felt bad is because, uh, from what I remember, uh, some of the things he told me is that he uh, kept getting beat up by this one guy till um, that one. I, I tried to give him advice, and and that one time he uh, told me that uh, he beat up the guy, and he ended up getting arrested. He, he told me sometimes that he had to go with a teacher or something just to go to school. He he, he seemed kind of worried from where uh, uh, those times when I met him. And all. But uh, and and the thing is that it, it, it's hard for me to believe that he went from that to this the person he is now. And and, all, and, and the thing is, uh, I even uh, I even told him that he had changed and all. And he, he tried to tell me that I, I changed, and I guess you can, it, it, I guess you can say I have changed, but then again, everyone changes and all. But as far as my my standings, my morals, ethics, things like that, that hasn't changed at all. And, and the thing is, just uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna talk with him anymore. I just pretty much fired both of them, but. Like I said, I feel sorry, and well, even though I just did say some of the stuff I said to him, uh, honestly, I wish him well wherever he goes. And all. he's not gonna have a part with me in any in anything. The same goes for Jcraft. But really, I really don't regret deleting either of them. I don't regret it. If the same thing happened and everything, if the same situation happened, I would do it again. Especially with someone who's just, uh, well, uh, likes to call people ignorant, and in reality, he's ignorant himself. He, notice one thing he, uh, notice one thing he did. One of the things he did was pretty much, um, he, um, I don't know, he just start, uh, started, like, l like I said before, he, he started making, uh, quotes in regard to Mexicans and all, and this is like uh, he just kind of foolishly assumed that was Mexican. I'm not, okay. And then he started saying like, uh, "Bullshit! I can tell from your accent." Okay, what kind of fucking accent is that? Okay, I don't, I don't have an, I don't have an accent to start with like other people do. 
okay but uh but anyway uh it's he it, it, um it, it's pretty much kind of like the donald trump and all that on uh, the on uh, the, the expression he, he made and all but anyway guys thank you guys uh, uh this was just pretty much an announcement just uh explaining the whole scenario with uh in, in regard to uh to this so because of that that leaves open several several areas for voice acting for my project uh on my gibberish and scribble channel and many other uh, projects but anyway guys thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and pledge to my patreon and i'll catch you guys next time bye